Yo guys, what's going on? It's your buddy Double D and welcome back to Tom Clancy's The Division. Today we're going to be talking about some group tips and tricks for you and your buddies to follow when you are PvP in a group situation. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Um, the first thing that I can point out for you guys is the group setup. When you are in a group situation, your setup is going to greatly differ from that of a single or solo PvP situation. Now a lot of you guys may be tempted to just run what you usually run, which is your first aid and your scan pulse because that's going to give you the biggest individual DPS boost. However, in a group setting, you're going to gimp yourself and your group on a lot of utility that you could be getting if that's what you're running. So let's talk about what you want to have in your group composition. We have found that having one sticky bomb, one first aid station with an immunizer, and at least one shock turret does wonders for the group. Now, the sticky bomb is really good for frightening large groups of people uh, and causing them to back off. You'll see a lot of the times we'll have groups of people pushing up and my buddy uh, Rainhawk here is going to drop a sticky bomb and it, it may kill them, it may not, but one of the things that you're going to notice is it always causes them to kind of back away. So that is really important. Plus, if you can get them clustered up and you have the talent, you're going to do massive amounts of damage. So that's, that's huge. Um, the immunizer is going to nullify anybody else's shock turret, incendiary rounds, uh, incendiary grenades, all of those things that we hate. They are going to keep them from bothering you. So that's huge. Gonna let you not get CC'd basically. And then the shock turret, you guys know what that's for. It's just to irritate the other team because let's face it, shock turrets are pretty fucking annoying. But hey, if you're gonna use them, we're gonna use them. So moving right along, that's going to pretty much cover it for your group composition. You guys can figure out who wants to use what. The rest of the people can use the good old scan pulse and first aid. It is important to have a scan pulse. And the first aid is nice to have, especially when you're running triage in a group, because that's going to let you guys have your cooldowns a lot quicker. Moving right along, let's talk about teamwork. Team communication is going to be huge. Everybody should be calling things out. Nobody should just be assuming that their team is going to see what's going on. If there's a shock turret, call out the shock turret. If there's enemies coming, call out where the enemies are coming from. If there's been a super popped, let everybody know. They may not need to know. They may need to know. They may already know. But the most important thing is that you call it out. The next thing we're going to talk about is choosing where to fight. And you see, here we have pretty much locked down this entire area. Now this is not an area that we just got stuck in. This is somewhere that we chose to fight and that is huge. You want to choose the place that is best going to suit your group. And you can see what we've done is we've basically created a situation where we know the areas that they can come from. We have an exit behind us if we need and we've got a bottleneck. Bottlenecks are huge. It's going to force people to all group up and kind of you know, crowding through one doorway and with the collision detection that there is in this game, that does wonders for us and it makes it much easier to mow people down. So, what you're going to see a little later on is the last thing that I'm going to tell you and that is, uh, you're going to hear me say things sometimes like bug out or fall back and it's not because I am a military nerd or because, you know, whatever, it's just that is how I tell the guys, it's time to go. Let's go. We got to go. And that is the last tip that I'm going to tell you guys. Know when it's time to fall back and have a fallback plan. So you're going to be able to pull enemies back. And at about seven and a half minutes, you're going to see what I'm talking about. We basically get overrun by two full groups that all start chaining supers. And instead of standing there and trying to fight them off, we just fall back and pull them into the next room. And we manage to clean everything up. So. Just keep in mind that the group PvP situation is extremely different from the solo PvP situation and you guys want to have a good solid group composition and that's going to help you survive and hold off large hordes of enemies. And that's my cue, my daughter is awake. Anyways, it's a good thing we just came to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, found it helpful in any way, shape, or form, make sure to go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Uh, this week I have got some gameplay footage coming out of a skill power build, aka the crowd control monster. So I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Double D out. Peace.
Watch your back in the door. Ah, uh, fuck the fucking med kit. Fuck's sake, man. Yeah, why are we not? Why have we not killed the flamethrower guys yet? And there's one behind us too. Christ Almighty. He's ace killer stole my stuff and legs it. I should bring a shotgun or something to me next time. Oh. He they're just popping around the corner dropping sticky bombs and then running. Oh, super, 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 super. There you go. Oh, there's another one. He's dead. They're all up there with you, Phoenix. I just deployed four fucking drones and he got them all? Seriously? Yep. They're all coming. They're all coming. One of you guys put an immunizer on and just throw it right by the door. Yeah. Yep, I'll do it in a second. Immunizer going down. zone Oh 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 super super popping a super Pull him back pull him back Not you, dog. Where are you? He's dead. He's obviously new here. He's like you out the back. Incendiary's on. Yeah, one of them's low. They're super low. How is he running? I put incendiary on. To your left. He's over here. He's dead. Oh, thanks, buddy.
yeah, I've gotten a little bit back. The sticky bomb who does exactly what you do, but he can't kill us. We never want to be backed into a corner. Yep. Uh, they're coming okay. around behind us. They're trying to, at least. There's one guy. <laughs> Yeah, I see him. <sighs> yep, he's coming. I want to go blow his brain down. This way. Alright, and he popped a super. Pop mine. Heal here on the ground. Yeah, Phoenix, watch our back, man. All right, that's they, they popped another super. Keep moving back a little. All right, scan pulls out. Their super's still up. Watch out. One down. I got him. I'll take left. Oh, uh, he popped he his popped super. super. Pull back. I'm shooting this heel on the ground, just run through it. He's just right here. Drop him, Phoenix. Good shit. Thanks for my shit, that. I still have two. Yeah, pulse out. Yep, there we go. <laughs> He's dead. Looks like there's some people behind us, yeah? I got it. <laughs> yeah, uh, call out if anyone's coming. I'm swapping my talents around. I'll probably turn it over. I'll probably turn it behind us. Y'all play no. <laughs> 